Well, I am Professor Peter Turns. Uh, I am a professor of research methods, statistics, uh, survey methodology. Well, I think mainly students come from Belgium, but uh, beyond Belgium you see many people from uh, the Netherlands, uh, Germany and, and then other, other, other countries in fact. Uh, some come from uh, France, but uh, you would see those more in our neighbour um, university, which is uh, French speaking. Well, um, my courses are always only with students in our faculty. So there are other courses where you have students from different uh, faculties uh, together. In my courses, so, um, for example, in first year, I have about 200 to 250 students. Huh? Uh, what I do is I have uh, a written course uh, for the first year uh, students and in the classes I usually use uh, PowerPoint slides. And those PowerPoints are also on the intranet. So all students have their own login uh, and then they have a list of the topics that they are doing. And for each course they can then find materials there. Huh? And so students bring actually those slides with them which I am showing and then they can make their notes on that. Um, well. I think very important uh, for our university is that we are not only specializing people into one very, very specific uh, topic. We have more a general kind of education, which also has to do with the fact that we are rather small university. Huh? Um, this means that we are training people who are then really like multifunctionals. Uh, which also means that you find them in, in many, many different uh, jobs, for example. Um, I think, on the other hand, that we also do specialize in particular topics that are not so common in other universities. Um, for example, in neuroscience is, is one of the strong uh, points in our university, especially when we think of uh, sleep research that is very special here. Well, of course, you have different kinds of applications, but one clear application is that one of our professors is uh, studying in the Arctic, uh, because there, of course, uh, people are in this environment where you have lights all day long. And so it is very interesting to see how people, in fact, adapt to that kind of special uh, situation. And so that is one of the examples where we specialize. But also, for example, uh, we've been doing studies on uh, noise uh, and, and how that interacts with sleep and things like that. Huh? Yes, well, indeed, um, every year we have um, a special event where we have the official uh, graduation ceremony, if you want, and their alumni all also can uh, come and uh, that is one of the ways that we see them back um, and what is special in fact is that you find them in many many jobs as I was saying um, you find them in very typical psychologist jobs uh, you find them in clinics you find them in job situations where they do the selection uh, of uh, workers uh, you find them in uh, in education, you find them in the industry and so on. So they are, as I was saying a bit, the multifunctionals. Um, you, you also find them out of the typical psychology uh, jobs. You find them also in banks, for example. You find them in education. Um, you find them really in, in many, many different uh, kinds of jobs. Yeah, well, not really. That is, uh, of course, there are students, uh, German students in my courses, but you can't read that from their faces, of course. But sometimes they, they come to me and they, they talk to me, and then, of course, uh, <laughs> I, I can hear. Um, but on the, on the other hand, uh, one out of our former students uh, did this full career here at our university. So he was a German student and he started at a bachelor level here in clinical psychology and then he uh, specialized in forensic uh, psychology. 
And uh, well, he really went far in that. He also went uh, to the UK for further studying, and then he came back for his PhD. And so he did his PhD here uh, in Brussels, and now he is working with the police, in fact, in, uh, in the Netherlands as a profiler. So that's a very special career indeed. Well, I think the most unique thing um, for our university is its size. Huh? Our uh, university is about one-fourth in size of the uh, concurrent universities, if you want. And that has a very important implication. Most of all, it is, well, for a student, it's very normal to simply go to a professor and have a talk with him, whether it is because there is a question or there is some other problem um, about the course or anything else. Huh? And so that is really a strong point. Um, it is not so that our doors are always closed or something. Uh, students can really um, come to us and uh, talk with us. And of course, if you are looking for a place where you can hide in a huge group of people, that is not us. Huh? Um, here, I think we are known for close contact with our students, and that is really a very strong point. Um, the, on the other hand, what you see is that we don't have so many possibilities for specialization. Because we are a smaller university, we have made our particular choices, but also we have chosen for a rather general approach. So we are not over-specializing. And so what is important is that our students, when they come somewhere, they need a few days to see how it all works, but they are very generally um, educated, and, and so they can very easily adapt to new situations. And that is what our students are known for and appreciated for. So we hear that, for example, from the internships where um, the, the monitors there really say, well, that's a strong point of your students. Oh, that's so interesting. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Bye-bye.